The last one was fun, don't get me wrong. But it was too short. Well, you breed them for speed. The race is gonna be short. How's Maud looking, Wendell? She gonna give Grandma a run for her money this year? Now that you mention it, I've been meaning to say something about that. Bartender! Hey, bartender! How about some service? Sheesh! What's a guy gotta do to get a drink in this dump? I'm not ringing that bell unless I find a way to extend my reach. It's a beautiful day. A beautiful day for getting rich! No point in rifling through the stuff in this place. I don't need to go in the kitchen. Hey, you! You want something? Excuse me, fine sir. Are you by any chance planning on betting on the cow race? Course I am. And who would you be betting on? It ain't none of your business. How many people would you say have come into town to bet on the race? How am I supposed to know that? Isn't there a bartender around this joint? Then that hiring. Big man like you must be betting on the race. Sure I am. Who's your top favorite? Well, I... What does he have to know that for? Tell your friend it's disgusting to chomp on a bone with no meat on it. You want disgusting? You should try some Puanian soup. I thought we agreed not to talk about the soup. What's this soup you mentioned? Oh man, these guys come to the fair every year and they bring this soup, see? I'm trying to eat here. Enough with the soup. Tell me more about this soup. That's enough about the soup! So we all tried it, right? It was so awful, but Wendell and I got it down, huh, Wendell? Yeah, barely. But Euclid has it in his mouth and starts turning green. And then he spits it out all over the place. Ugh, I'm about to lose my appetite. Mmm, I can't wait to get some of my own soup. <laughs> Stop it. Soup. Ugh, cut it out. Soup. Ugh, I lost my appetite. Bartender, bring me a... Smiley, is that you? Howdy, howdy, howdy. It is you. Thank goodness I found you. You mean it, phony? You're happy to see Darn me? Darn right. Phone Bone wouldn't let me leave this stupid valley unless I found you first. Aw, oh, shucks. It's good to see you too, cuz. This calls for a toast. Let me buy you a drink, old buddy. Okay by me, old pal. Here's to going home. To Boneville. So, you're in town for the cow race. Me too. There's gonna be some heavy batting going on. So I've heard. Have you been hearing things about the race? Oh sure, I'm the bartender. I hear everything. What do you want to know? Who's taking the bets? Nobody yet. Good, good. Any idea who people are betting on? Word around town is this Grandma Ben lady is the odds-on favorite. Excellent! I got an idea that's gonna make us a lot of money! 
Uh-oh, I hope this isn't one of those silly ideas you used to pull back in Boneville. Whatever. We need to get you a cow suit. What? I get to wear a cow suit? Oh, cool! Tell me more, partner. So here's what we do. First, we spread rumors that Grandma Ben is too old to win the race this year. We'll cover all the bets, and then when Grandma Ben wins, we'll be rich! Of course, when Grandma Ben comes into town, everyone's gonna see she's perfectly fit, aren't they? I've got that covered with Phase 2, the Mystery Cow! Woohoo, that's got a killer ring to it! Your job is to work on finding yourself a cow suit! Oh boy, I'm all a tingle with glee! This is gonna be great! Remember, you're gonna throw the race. We want Grandma Ben to win. And then we'll be rich! Okay, I'll post some odds. Mystery cow, four to one. Grandma Ben, 60 to one. And the other cows in between that. What do you think? I think you just made that up. Of course I just made that up. We're fixing the race, remember? This is gonna be easy as pie. Serve up another beer. Sure thing, buddy. Now remember, I don't want anyone to know gotcha, we're together. Oh, no, not another one. You better be able to pay for those beers, shorty. Dum -da -dum -dum -da -da. Relax, Goliath. I'm good for it. Just like this other idiot was good for it. You owe me two eggs and I want them now. Jeez, what a hothead. Here, take it. What's this? Two eggs, pal. What, did the price go up? Hey! Get them off. You can work off your bar tab. Nobody mutilates a mint note around me and lives to tell about it. Say your prayers, Chuckles. They don't know what money is, cuz. They use a barter system. Chuckles wants real eggs. Your butt is mine, Baldy. Smiley, why did you let me buy those beers? You know I don't carry poultry products. Uh-oh, looks like I missed some dirty glasses. I want this floor sparkling. Get to work! Hey, I got a betting booth to build. I can't move it! How could this be happening to me? I'm trying to clean here. Hey, do you mind? Don't you clowns ever wipe your feet? I don't even want to know what they've been stepping on. Can't you guys sit still for five minutes? Knock it off! You're messing up my nice clean floor! I never thought I'd hear myself say that. Hey, 
I'm trying to clean here. Do you mind? Don't you clowns ever wipe your feet? I don't even want to know what they've been stepping on. Ha! There! Clean enough to eat off of! I'll stick with plates, thanks. Can I take a break now, or what? Sure, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be back in a minute, and I got some more fine ideas for things you can do. How do you know my name? Your cousin, Phone Bone, has awakened the Great Red Dragon. For this, I will kill him. Well, wait a minute, pal. You leave Phone Bone alone. What do you care for, friends? All that matters to you is personal gain. I'm warning you, don't come any closer. We have unfinished business, you and I. Yeah? Like what? Your soul. Hey, phony! Oh, I can't believe it. Just look at this mess. At least we're still all in one piece. I don't get it, Grandma. Why would the rat creatures attack the farm? We've been here forever, and they've never done anything like this. Not now, dear. Mr. Bone from Boneville and I have to have a little chat. But... Be a sweetheart and put out the fire on the roof. Bone and I will pack the cart. The cart? You still want to go to the fair? Deer will be safer in town, and with any luck, we'll be able to find his cousins. Please, Thorn, we don't know if they're safe. Okay, okay, I'll take care of the roof. Come on, Bone. Grandma, how did you manage to fight off all those rat creatures when they attacked the farm? I'll ask the questions. I want to know why those monsters were after you, and I want the truth. They wanted to bake me in a quiche. Or one of them did, anyway. That's all, huh? What about that shifty cousin of yours? You think that phony bone might have had some dealings with him? Phony doesn't do business with anyone likely to eat him. Hmm, good policy. Well, we shouldn't stick around here too long. You get the luggage loaded into the cart while I get the cow ready. Yes, ma'am. That's part of the fence. I'm not hungry right now. I'd better get this thing packed up. got all the luggage packed in the cart, Grandma Ben. 
Good. Why don't you go and see what's keeping Thor? What a mess! Are you okay, Thorn? Oh, hi, Thorn. I'm fine. You don't sound fine. Why would the rat creatures destroy our farm? They've never done anything like this before. I'm worried, Phone Bone. We'll be safer when we get to town. I guess so. Grandma's been acting kind of funny, too. There's something going on between her and that dragon. There's something else, isn't there? No. Well, last night I had a dream I haven't had in a long time. But it's probably nothing. If you say so. I think maybe we should head for town now. It'll be safer. You're right. Let's go. Okay, Grandma. The fire on the roof is out. Thank you, dear. All right, then. Let's get going. Here's some hay for you, Twinkle. I hope Phony's okay. I don't know where he disappeared to last night. Maybe he went ahead into town without us. That wouldn't surprise me. Smiley Bone! <laughs> my little pal is safe! Oh my gosh, I was so worried about you! Hey, Phony! Phone Bone's here! Hey! hey, hey. Isn't it wonderful? We're together again! Hello, Lucius. How you doing, Rosie? It was the road safe. I was worried about you. No, oh, I got something for you. Here. My! I've been saving it in my pocket all day. Aren't you sweet? Well, I had some extra time on my hands this morning. All ready for the race tomorrow? I'm raring to go. Though I could use some rest after all that traveling. I think we should all bed down, so we can get up bright and early for the festival. There are sounds in the pass behind us. We are betrayed. It cannot be. You must turn back. I will go on with the girl. You must go into Derengard. You will be safe there until I can return. Do not follow me. Get in the cave, now. Phone Bone, are you awake? Phone Bone, get up. Mm, what, what's wrong? Did you have another weird dream? Yes, get up, but don't wake the others. Okay. When I was a little girl, I used to have this one dream over and over again, where I was standing in a magnificent cavern surrounded by dragons. I hadn't had the dreams for years, until I saw this map of yours. Did you tell Grandma Ben about the dreams? I did when I was little. She used to tell me not to be afraid because dragons don't really exist. That's strange. Grandma knows about dragons. I know that now. I still don't see what this has to do with the map. I think I do. I drew that map. You're kidding. No, I think I drew the map when I was with the dragons. Oh, I don't know. This is all ridiculous. 
If it wasn't for the map, I'd swear I'd been with Grandma Ben since the day I was born. Well, there's the map. I say we wake Grandma Ben and show it to her. No, let's wait till after the race. She's got enough to worry about right now. Let's keep this a secret for now. Just between you and me, okay? Okay, Soren, if that's what you want. Good. Let's go to bed. Tomorrow's the first day of the spring fair, and we should get an early start. Good night, Phone Bone. Good night. Are you having a good time, Phone Bone? Don't you just love the Spring Fair? I have to admit, this is a pretty good way to wind up our adventure. So why the long face? You found your cousins, and in a couple of days, you'll be heading back to Boneville. Yeah. So come on, cheer up. We only have a few more days together. Let's enjoy them. Ugh. Ooh, I know. Let's go find a honey booth. Okay, Thorn. You can get great honey at the fair, even from the southern end of the valley. It's sweeter, and the boys who sell it are cuter. You know, I'll bet the forest is full of honey. Come on, let's go find a beehive. The bees around here are too big. But I bet I could get you some honey for free. I'm sure you could. Oh, look, there's a honey seller. Hello. We'd like to buy a couple of your combs. Step right over here, miss. My name's Tom. What's yours? Thorn. Do you have anything from South Valley? Sure do. But a sweet little thing like you probably wants honey from Thea. Here, just smell it. Nothing in the whole valley compares to it. Except maybe you. It does smell nice. Want to take a whiff, little fella? You ought to appreciate it with a nose like that. You should know that in Boneville, a big nose is a sign of nobility. Well, here it just looks dumb. Why don't you lose the Cupid doll and come back? I could tell you all about gathering honey in the giant trees down south. I'm not a Cupid doll. I'm a Bone from Boneville. You're just a big, beefy, honey guy. I'm a real man. I face swarms of man-eating bees with nothing but a little smoke to put them to sleep. A real man wouldn't need to put the bees to sleep first. And what's a runt like you know about being a real man? Well, I... That's enough! You can't talk to my friend that way! Come on, Phone Bone. What were you thinking? I've never seen you act that way before. But... When you can walk around the fair without getting into a fight, come find me. Until then, I'd rather be by myself. But he started it. Gosh, she was really mad. Maybe I can get her a present or something to make it up to her. Uh, Tom? What do you want? So, uh, man-eating bees, huh? Yeah. What about it? I thought bees ate pollen. Actually, they eat nectar. But that's not what I meant. Is there a certain technique to this honey thing? Of course. It takes a real man to get that honey away from those bees. Why do you care? Supposing I was a real man, how would I go about getting honey? Huh, right. Well, you'd find a tree and climb it, set some grass on fire to put the bees to sleep with the smoke, and then collect the honey. I thought you said getting honey was hard. Oh, the big man now, huh? Let's see how you deal with deadly swarms of bees. What's the best way to find a tree with honey in it? You sure are full of questions all of a sudden. You want a honey tree? Go find your own.
Can I try it for free? I'd love to let you, but that wouldn't be good business now, would it? Hello, sir. Hello. Care to try the great cow race game? Got some great prizes here. You have an interesting accent. Where are you from? Most of us are from Upper Power. It's a little more civilized than you locals were probably used to. Oh, I'm not a local. Oh, yeah? Where are you from? I'm from... I'm from Upper Power too. No, you're not. But now that I look at you, it's obvious you're not from anywhere around here. Well, well, a fellow traveler. That's great. Say, how'd you like to take a whack at the great cow race game on the house? For free? Thanks. Do I still get to win a prize? Mm, sure, why not? You seem like a nice guy. Too bad, kid. Why don't you try again? Can I try the game again? Sure, buddy. Go ahead. Too bad, kid. Why don't you try again? Play the great... How does this game work? It's easy. You just use the catapult to fire stones at the target on your cow. Cut the... Which cow is my cow? You're the green one. Okay, I think I get it. Great! I think... We... Can I try the game again? Sure! Well, 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 we have a winner! Good job, son. Here's your prize. Um, but what about... Keep playing for bigger and better prizes, kid. Trade in 20 small dolls for the big one. 20? Oh, great. <laughs> um, you want to play again? I don't know. Maybe Thorn will like this one. Hey, Alvy. Just a sec, kid. Where have you been, man? I'm starving here. Oh yeah, sorry. I was over at the tavern and there's some big betting going on for the race. Man, it's really heavy. Yeah? Maybe I'll take my lunch break there then. Whatever curls your earlobes. Hey Alvy, don't take too long, okay? 
like I trust you or the customers for more than a couple of minutes. Try to put some oomph into it, okay? Sure, sure. See ya. At least he didn't make me wear the hat this time. Excuse me? Yeah? Could I play the cow race game again? Sure. Knock yourself out. Congratulations, here's your prize. Trade in 20 small cows to get the big prize. Have a nice day. That would be nice, but I really think Thorn will like the small one. Thanks! Can I try your game? Sure! Well, normally I charge an egg, but you don't look like you could... I mean, you seem like a nice guy, so I'll let you have a whack for free. Hey there, bossy. Sleep well, ladies. It's time to get to work. But we're gonna miss the whole fair! Tough luck, kids. Should have thought of that before you drank all that beer on credit. Well, we'll just have to run the job mostly from the bar. You remember your part? I, I was wondering, I get to wear a cow suit, but what do you get out of this? After all, the locals don't have any money. The play is the thing. If all they have here are poultry products, then I'll take it. Right, I have you down for six eggs on the mystery cow. And a smart bet it is, I might add. Good luck, friend. <laughs> so far, so good. Now to get the rest of these yokels to bet on the mystery cow, and I'll be sitting pretty. Hello, John, my boy. Um, hello. So, have you considered who you're betting on? Sure thing. I'm betting on Grandma Bet. You know, John, I got a line on a real fast cow. Maybe, but I always bet on Grandma Ben. Tell me about yourself, John. What? Do you have goals, John? Dreams? Well, yeah, of course. Do you consider yourself to be a wealthy man? What? Nah, I'm not rich at all. If you're not wealthy, then I take it you like to just throw your goods away. What are you talking about? Of course I don't. If you're not rich and you don't like throwing goods away, why are you betting on Grandma Ben? What? What do you mean? Come on, John. Think this through. Um... Let's get down to brass tacks here. Okay. Grandma's got some real competition this year. There's a really fast cow out there. I'm not sure. Grandma Ben's never let me down yet. I think you should consider this really fast cow that I heard about. But, Grandma Ben... You know, John, I got a line on a real fast cow. But, Grandma Ben... I want to ask you something else about you. Uh, okay, if you want. 
Why don't you tell me about your goals? Well, um, I would like my own farm someday with lots of chickens and... Go on. Well, I'd like to breed my own racing cows. A man with such noble ambitions, and you're willing to give them up over a bad bet? Huh? You gotta go with the sure bet, John. But... Think of the cows, John. The cows! You saying I shouldn't bet on Grandma Ben? You know, Grandma Ben is getting kind of old. Well, she's won every time I can remember. You know, fast as Grandma Ben is, sooner or later she's going to be passed up by a younger, faster cow. You really think so? I know so! What if this was the year Grandma Ben lost? You'd lose your whole bet! Gosh, I hadn't really thought of that, but who else would I bet on besides Grandma Ben? Grandma's got some real competition this year. There's a really fast cow out there. How fast? This cow runs so fast, the wind it makes rips the paint right off of barns. Gee. This cow is too fast to even have a name. No one knows what the cow is really called. They call it the mystery cow. The mystery cow. Wow. So what do you think, John? You still want to bet on Grandma Ben? Heck no. Sign me up for the mystery cow. I'm going right now to get some more eggs. Good idea. Might as well bring them all. This is a sure bet. Why, hello, John Oaks. Hi, Grandma. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Oh, I'm going to get some more eggs to bet on the big race. Well, isn't that sweet? But you never know. You shouldn't bet all your eggs on me. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm not betting on you. Come again? Well, I was gonna, but now I'm scouting around for a younger contestant. You gotta go with a sure bet, don't you know? Uh, I gotta get going. See you later, Grandma. Hello, my good man. What now? So, my good sir, have you decided on whom you'll be betting for this year's race? Oh, heck with the race. But, but... Don't you care about the race anymore? Why should I care? My cow can't even run in it now. Don't start that again, Wendell. Oh no? Why not? Um, is there a problem here? Darn right there is. Maud can't even run in the race anymore. Not like she was gonna win anyhow. That's not the point and you know it. I'm assuming Maud is a cow? Of course Maud is a cow. My cow. Just checking. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's get our thoughts back on the betting, shall we? Why should I? I might not even go to the race anymore. Just can it. Okay, what's going on here? Why don't you tell him, Euclid? <clears throat> I was gonna run Maud in the race, but someone decided to make cow shoes that don't fit her right. Not my fault your cow's got a big hoof. What the heck are cow shoes? This is a cow shoe. They're shoes for racing cows, of course. Oh yeah, of course. Where's your cow Maud parked? She's just outside the bar. Yeah, she's the cow with the one oversized hoof. That's the way to the front of the bar. Where do you think you're going? Cool your jets, Jumbo. I'm on a break. <laughs> hmm. 
Hey, cow. Phew, what stinks? I miss the smell of civilization. I don't suppose you know how to do anything interesting. Stay. Good cat. Speak. Yeah, I feel your pain. Shake. Say, not bad. Hold that pose. They were right. It doesn't fit. Stop right there! That looks good. What the? Perfect fit. Hey you! Wendell and Euclid! Get out here! What do you want? Is this the shoe you were talking about? Cause it sure looks like a fit to me. Well, I'll be. Yeah, it does look like it fits. Uh, well, uh, gee, Euclid, I, uh, w well, come on, I'll buy you a beer. Well, okay, Wendell, sure thing. Hey, who you think is gonna win the race this year? You know, they say Grandma Ben's been a bit under the weather. They do? I've heard the stress is really getting to her this year. Maybe you should be looking for a more stable competitor. Hmm, I'm not so sure. I haven't noticed anything wrong with my own eyes. Good point. You should trust your own senses before casual gossip. There's a punching bag right outside the window. I'll be back. Oh look! Here comes Grandma Ben now! <laughs> hmm. Looks like she might be coming down with something. Hello again. Hi. Have you heard about this real fast cow people have been talking about? Tell me about this cow. This is the fastest cow that ever lived. They call it the mystery cow. Sounds like one mean cow. All right, put me down. That's a real smart bet, friend. Hi, phony. Hey, phone bone. Say, you don't look so good. What's going on? Oh, it's just Thorn. You having girl troubles already? Girl troubles? Of course not. Was there something else you wanted before I got back to work? Well... You need more girl advice? Maybe. What are you trying to do to impress her? I don't know what to do. 
I've been working on my manliness. Manliness is not the way to go about getting girls. It's not? No way! Manly men burp and show off and leave the toilet seat up. Women don't like that stuff. What women really want is money. You have to prove to them that you can take care of them. What you really want is money. Somehow I don't think Thorn's as greedy as you are. Trust me on the money thing, it's not about greed, it's about financial security. Find her something that represents your generosity and affluence, and she'll be yours in no time. I don't know. I'll think about it. Was there something else you wanted before I got back to work? Well... Hey, if you want to bet, you're gonna have to wait till I'm done with these fine gentlemen. Bet? What are you talking about? You're taking bets on the cow race? I'm merely stepping in to provide a valuable service to the community. Ha! Huh. Like I would trust you to run a bookmaking operation on the up and up. I wouldn't trust you to hold an ice cream cone. Hey, keep it down! Forget I said anything. Was there anything else you wanted? Well... Can't talk right now, phone bone. Got work to do. Okay. Hey, little man. Where's the fire? Can't talk, mister. I need to get more eggs. More eggs? What's the rush? It's the mystery cow. Fastest cow that ever lived. I gotta get more eggs back to the tavern so I can bet on her. Mystery cow, huh? Yeah, I'll be right back. You can keep playing while I'm gone, but try not to strain yourself. Hey. There. That seems like a more reasonable setting. Say your prayers, barbarian swine! I misjudged you, my little friend. Here, take this certificate of strength. You're now the second official member of the Strongman's Guild. When should we have our first meeting? Uh, I'll get back to you on that. No hurry, friend. Oh, uh, think about what you want for your secret guild name, too. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. Oh, boy. I can't wait to show this to Thorn. Trusted to the two of you. How is it that you have not brought him to me? We we have not seen the one who bears the star. But on several occasions we have seen one who is much like him in description. He is called Phonebone. We have seen this new creature on the dragon stair, and again in the valley. Yes, yes, I know of the creature. But why did you not capture it and bring it to the council? Did you think it insignificant? Well, he, he bears no star. But he has awakened the great red dragon. I fear the bone cousins are a threat to our plans. Go immediately to the valley and capture these strangers. We must put an end to this once and for all. Not a bad! 
bad looking cow suit if I do say so myself. Just missing a couple pieces still. Let's see now. Need something for the tail. Some horns, uh-huh. Oh yeah, and an udder. No problemo. Good strong thread. I was starting to make chicken soup until I found out all the chickens were still alive. Who knew a kitchen needed so much stuff? That's not wet. Now the towel's red. Whoopsie! What are you doing back here? Clean up that mess. Yes, sir, Mr. Down, sir. That plate looks all sad and lonely with no food on it. That plate looks a lot less empty now. Wonder where Phony got that huge hat. Smiley, this isn't even a real order. Just practicing. I want my order up skills to be real sharp. They'd be the sharpest thing about you. Let's see. I still need horns, a tail, oh, and an udder. <laughs> Hi, kids. What you doing? We're playing bull fight. Only we don't have a bullfighter. Hey, you must be Phone Bone's other cousin. I'll play with you guys. What do you want me to do? Cool. You be the bullfighter. You need a cape. And it needs to be red. Okay, I'll go find a red cape. Cool. We'll wait here. Yay! This is gonna be fun! Toro! Toro! Oh boy! Let's get him! Yay! Charge! What's the matter? Yeah, you don't want to play bullfight anymore? Oh, sorry guys. My arms are getting all wobbly. Oh, I want 
to play more bullfight. Yeah, me too. Don't you worry now, kids. I'll think of something. Okay, guys, try that. Oh, cool. Good idea, Mr. Bone. Now we can play again. Charge! <laughs> okay, Mr. Bone, you can be the bull now. Yeah! I'll hold the cake! I want to hold the cape. Hey, I found the hat. Let's take turns holding the cape. Okay, I get to go first. I want to go first. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, rock, paper, scissors. This lock is definitely 100% Lock. These eggs will be safer with me than out here in the yard. So glum, chum. Huh? Oh, it's this cow race. I really wanted to bet on it, you see. But I don't have anything to bet with except my hat. And the guy in the bar won't take it. He's only taking eggs. That certainly is an interesting hat. Well, thanks. Where does one procure such a stylish chapeau? I have them specially made by a shop out in Conkles Hollow. Is that far away? Pretty far. It's near Upper Power. Is that far away? Yes. Yes, it is. What do you say we talk more later? Yeah, fine. Trade you these eggs for that hat. Really? You got a deal, pal. Oh boy, now I can bet on that mystery cow. See ya, pal. Bye now. Need horns, a tail, oh, and an udder. This helmet's got some nice horns on it. Perfect. Thank goodness for cool and quirky hats. This will make a nice tail. Image of bovine perfection. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no one will suspect a thing. I'm not smiley. No, I'm a real cow. Think I'll, I'll chew me some cud. Mm -hmm. Hey, phony! The sheep's in the hen house and the pigs are climbing the roof. What are you blabbering about now? Everything's ready back here, partner.
Grandma? Hello, Smiley Bone. You look kind of thirsty. You know something? I am a bit parched. I think I'll head inside for some turnip tea. Excuse me? Hello, sir. Would you like some soup? You all right? You look kinda down. It's kind of you to ask. I'm missing my best friend. Oh. Where is your friend? I don't really know. I think one of my brothers took him. Did you say your brothers took your friend? I wouldn't put it past them. They play jokes on me all the time. Kidnapping your friend seems a bit over the top for a joke. Chicken napping is more like it. Wait, what do you mean by chicken napping? Poor Toby. I don't know how I'll sleep at night without him. Did you know your friend long? Most of my life. Sometimes he was the only one there for me. I'm getting a little lost here. Toby is my stuffed chicken. I've had him ever since I was just a little mump. Oh. Which of your brothers would be most likely to take him? Probably Alvy. He's always after me to grow up. Have you asked Alvy if he's seen Toby? I couldn't do that. Even if he hadn't taken him, he'd just laugh at me. I could keep an eye out for him if you like. What does he look like? He's a chicken, about yay big, soft, a bit worn. Okay. Thank you. Let me know if you find him. I'm sure he'll turn up. Thank you. I hope he's not gone for good. Look who I found. Toby! Oh, thank you, thank you! Where did you find him? Actually, it was kind of weird. I won him playing the cow race game. <sighs> Albie means well, but he can be downright cruel sometimes. What's your name, friend? I'm Phonebone. Very nice to meet you. My name is Cecil. Hi, Thorn. I sort of want to be alone right now, Phone Bone. Is it because I'm not manly enough? What? Oh, Phone Bone, you just don't get it. Hey, Thorn, I have something to show you. I'm really not in the mood, Phone Bone. Oh. Look, I'm sorry, Thorn, but he started it. I don't care who started it. It was embarrassing. I'm sorry. I know. 
I just want to be alone right now. Okay. I guess I'll just leave you alone then. Excuse me? Yeah. Have a nice... Sure. Hello, Grandma. Stopping in for a rest? Just a quick drink, and I'm back out running. Say, I wanted to ask you something about your history with the race. You did? Why? Have you really won the cow race every single year since you started? Yep. There's never been a cow that beat you? Nope. I was wondering, how long have you been running in this race? Why do you care? Um, well, aren't you worried with winning every year that your luck might be about due to run out? What are you getting at, phony bone? Hey, I'm not getting at anything. I'm just concerned about you, that's all. I'm sure you are. This bar's been around a long time, huh? Pretty long, I guess. I couldn't say for sure. You probably remember the bar being built, don't you? Sure I do. So do I. You do? Oh. I was just talking to the guys here, and we were wondering how long you've been running in the race. Well, it's been a good long time. I've been running in this race for years and years. Couldn't you tell us exactly how many years you've been in the cow race? No. Do you not want to tell us how long you've been in the race because you're afraid we'll figure out how old you are? My age is none of your business, Phony Bone. Hmm. Interesting. Actually, I had some questions about your farm. What kind of questions? I heard something about some kind of scuffle at your farm. I'll thank you to drop it, Phony Bone. It must have taken a lot out of you. Drop it! You sure you're feeling all right? You seem a bit edgy. Hmm. Not feeling well. That's very interesting. Let me ask you something about this year's race. Well, okay then, make it snappy. So, Grandma, who do you think is the fastest cow out there? The fastest? Oh, I don't know. There's a lot of good-looking cows this year. A lot of good-looking cows, huh? Are you nervous at all? Heavens no. I'm not worried about winning the race. I just go out to have fun. So you'd say you race for fun and not to win? That's right. I would. You're not gonna try to win the race this year? I'll just do my best. Not gonna try to win? That's very, very interesting. Okay, that's all I wanted to ask for now. Finally. I'm gonna skip that drink. I need to get back to my warm-up. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Who did you say you were going to bet on? Uh, what was this cow you were talking about? 
No one knows the cow's real name. They call it the Mystery Cow. Yeah, put me down. This sounds like a real winner. You won't be sorry. Hey, I just talked to Rose outside. What's this I hear about nobody betting on her? What's the matter with you guys? You trying to hurt her feelings? Nah, we ain't trying to hurt her feelings. But you heard the rumors. Grandma Ben is washed up. We know you're sweet on her, Lucius, but the odds are 100 to 1 against her. Yeah, everyone's putting bets on the mystery cow. The mystery cow, huh? Everybody's talking about it. Fastest cow that ever lived. You ought to get in on it, Lucius. Anybody actually seen this mystery cow? Huh? Have any of you jokers laid your own eyeballs on this cow you bet your life savings on? Yeah, sure. Well, I haven't seen it, but somebody must have. Haven't you? That's what I thought. Sounds to me like someone's playing you boys for a bunch of saps. We want to see the mystery cow. Now! Come on, guys. I don't want to spoil the mystery. We're gonna spoil your head in a minute. Okay, okay, I'll take you. But don't say I didn't warn you. The mystery cow is terrible and dangerous. I gotta make sure it's safe. Give me some time, then meet me at the old barn out back. Okay, but this better be one scary cow. Hey, Smiley. What's shaking, cuz? Smiley, you gotta get to the barn out back and make noise like the most vicious cow that ever lived. Okay, cuz, I gotcha. I'm gonna have to paint up some signs if we're gonna pull this off. These are all sealed up and aging, whereas the ones in the bar are opened up and ready to go. That's good, but can you be even louder? Brawny Day, fellow strong guy! Did I mention that Brawny Day is the official greeting for members of the Strongman's Guild? No, that's nice. Hey, have you given any thought to what you want your secret guild name to be? What do you think of Whirly? Well... You bet. My bet is that booth belongs to Phony. This must be how they show who's winning.
All right, that should do the trick. Stay right here. I'll go get those suckers. Aye, aye, Captain. All right, phony bone. Show us the mystery cow. Shh, keep it down. I can't be responsible for what happens if you make too much noise and upset the cow. Quit stalling. Yeah, we'll make all the noise we want. I'm warning you, keep it down or you're gonna upset the... Bloody stars, it's gonna kick down the front of the barn. Hey, phony, you got that crazy cow tied up in there? Huh, she must have broke loose. Well, guys, what do you say we go have a look at her? What do you think? Should we go have a look? Maybe we shouldn't upset her right before the race. Not me, brother. I've seen enough. That monster's gonna kill poor old Grandma Ben. Well, that settles that. Don't forget, I'll be taking bets right up to the starting bell. Tell all your friends! Let me show you this certificate I got. I'm a member of the Strongman's Guild. Phone bone, you just don't understand. Well, I... Maybe not. I guess I'll have to try something else to impress her. I want a stuffed animal for you. That's nice, but I think I'd just like to be by myself right now. Really? But I... Well, okay. I guess I'll have to try something else to... I have something for you, Thorn. Not right now. Oh. I have something for you, Thorn. Not right now. Oh. Do you want to talk to me yet? Not right now. If I ever need bread, I'll know where to come. That's Pawanian maggot bread. It's usually eaten with cricket butter. Nice. What the heck? Maybe I'll give it a try. Boo? Ugh, I don't feel so good. That's probably the eels. You'll get used to it. Hi there, Cecil. Hello again, phone bone. You wouldn't happen to know anything about girls, do you? Having a little romantic trouble? Maybe. What's a good way to make a girl like you? Girls are people, Phone Bone. You can't make them do anything. What's a good way to encourage a girl to like you? Why don't you just relax and try being yourself? That's not very helpful, you know. See, there's this girl, right? And I like her and everything, but I don't think she likes me. But I can't tell for sure. And then there's this other guy. Uh-huh. I see. What should I do? Why don't you talk to her? Don't you have any easier advice you could give me? Sorry. No one said love was easy. Great. You know... All right, then. Bye, Cecil. Enjoy the fair. Hi, Thorn. I sort of want to be alone right now, Phone Bone. I'm sorry. I know. I... Okay.
Excuse me? Yeah. Haven't sure. Uh, hi again. What is it now? Do you think you could, uh, sort of stay away from Thorn? That girl you were with? Why should I? Look, Tom, I know I don't know you or anything, but I kind of like Thorn, and I just wish you'd back off, okay? Mm -hmm. Nope. Well, look, I like her, okay? So just stay away. <laughs> yeah? What would she want with a little bald runt like you? Oh, brother. All right, I won't. You won't go after her? I won't mind. Ah. <sighs> Hey Cecil, how's Toby doing? Just fine. I wanted... I'll do the... Don't you have any easier advice you could give me? Sorry. Great. This won't work. It's nasty for... Oh, look at that! It's the mother load! Hmm, I wonder why there aren't a bunch of bees guarding the hive. It only takes one! Listen, you. I'm a member of the Strongman's Guild. That's very impressive, I'm sure. Do you like stuffed animals? <laughs> what are you looking at? Nice tree you've got here. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I made it myself. What, you mean like you planted it? Don't be a sap. Now beat it. Oof! What did that honey cellar guy say about putting bees... This might this come, might in, come handy. in handy. This might come in handy.
That's smoking pretty good. No, I don't think so. Oh boy, I can't wait to show this to Thorn. She's gonna love it. Whoa! Oof! I don't trust those two rat creatures to handle the bone cousins. Time is running out. If we must risk a confrontation with the dragon, we must do it now, while the dragon's suspicions sleep. King Doc, take a thousand of your best warriors into the valley and end this now. Even with a thousand, the dragon is... No, you coward. You do not have to fight the dragon. You must find the one who bears the star and kill his cousin. Let us hope that the death of this Bone Bone will cause the dragon to leave the valley and return to Darren God. Now, find them. Boy, oh boy, Thorn will love this. Just wait till I show her. Hi, Bone. Oh, hi, Ted. Why don't you just tell Thorn that you like her instead of sitting moping around? I could never do that. Shy, huh? Come on with me. We'll think of something. Now I've been thinking, and what I think is, if you can't tell Thorn you like her, then maybe you should ought to write her. You mean like a, a love poem or something? Sure! In fact, that's just the very thing. A poetry would let her know how you feels. It's hard to put your feelings on paper. No, nah, all you need is a pen and a little matriculation sense. I'll help you. What you needs to do, see, is say how parts of her is like other pretty things. That's called imagery. Okay. And it definitely got to rhyme too. Otherwise, it ain't no poem at all. Imagery and rhyme. Okay, I'll give it a go. Sweeps her off her feet. Read it to me when you're done, and I'll give you some pointers. Okay, Ted, what do you think of this? <clears throat> Your teeth are white as Herman Melville's. Your skin as smooth as Moby Dick. Your eyes are as blue as a harpoon. A lot is how much I like you. You think Thorn will like it? Who's this Harmon Melvin character? And what's he doing in a poem that's supposed to be about Thorn? Okay, thanks. I'll keep working on it. When I first met Thorn, she was sitting on a log. <sighs> sure is a nice day, ain't it, Bone? I guess. Have you got any suggestions for good poem imagery? How about a cricket? Crickets is nice. I guess. 
come on. Have what about a button? I, I guess. I'll get. I'll when I first met. The Okay, Ted, what do you think? <coughs> How's that? Who's that? Oh. Nothing quite like... I guess. Come on. Well, you could use a shoe. I guess. Come on. I'm fresh out, this. Day. Right. Hey, Edie, but I've got a line on a mystery cow that can't lose. We could clean. Uh, I don't suppose you know anything about love poetry, do you? Working on something for your girl, are you? Nobody beats old dirt. Really? Try me. I'm trying to think of something white to use in a poem. What about a bone? Bones are white and strong. Hmm. Say, have you, I was. Can I? Ah. I'm trying to think of something as blue as. Well. How about steel? Hmm. Say, I. Can. Ah. I'm trying. How about silk? Silk? I. Hey! Excuse me? Yeah. I'm working. Milk? Well, kids seem to like it. True. Got any more? In How about hay? Hay? Well, cows seem to like it. I suppose so. Got any? Uh. The moon? It's just a big rock in the sky. Well, moths seem to like it. I suppose so. What else do you know about poetry? I know the difference between free verse and blank verse, but I doubt that would help you much. Have sure. Hi, Cecil. Hello. You wouldn't happen to know anything about poetry, would you? Absolutely. Yeah? Well, I'm looking for some good imagery. Oh, I've got just the thing. What? What? Mutton. Mutton? I use it in my soup. It's so wonderfully stringy and pungent. Your hair is as stringy as mutton? Fabulous. Have you got any other ideas for my poem? Sure. Try mentioning turnips. Turnips? Really? I use them in my soup. They're marvelously pale and bland. I don't know. That doesn't sound so great to me. Trust me. I hesitate to ask this, but have you got any more ideas for my poem? Well, I shouldn't even mention it, but the most special thing I can think of in the whole world is... Yeah? A drop of dew. Dew? Yes, a drop of dew. It's the secret ingredient for my soup. I collect it in Pawa, where the dew is a brilliant sapphire blue. Oops, am I talking too loud again? Drop of dew. Bye, Cecil. Enjoy.
don't want to interrupt. I can't believe Phony is trying. Okay, Ted, what do you think? <clears throat> Your teeth are white as the moon. Your skin as smooth as silk. Your eyes are as blue as a drop of dew. A lot is how much I like you. What do you think? Skin like silk. Real nice, I'd keep that. Blue as a drop of dew? Little poetic license there, but it's mighty purty. I'd definitely keep that. I'm thinking the moon ain't so much white as silver, which ain't a nice thing to say about teeth. I imagine I'd change that. Okay, thanks. Okay, <coughs> you're a, a lot pretty good. Black crickety! Yeah, Bone, that's the stuff. That's the kind of poetry that'll leave her knees knocking. That's a good thing, right? Sure it is. Thanks for your help, Ted. No problem, pal. Look, look, comrade, it is he, the bone creature. The most succulent, marbled and fat bone creature. Yes, you're right. We better catch him and take him to King Doc. Forget King Doc. We could just keep him for ourselves. Does that mean we can bake him in a quiche? No, it does not. Hmm, toes, toes. What rhymes with toes? Potatoes? Upon your feet you have ten toes. They look just like potatoes. Hello, small mammal. Whoa! Great. The cows are lined up and ready to go. Aces, I'm on my way. Hold on, you're not going anywhere till you tell me exactly what you're gonna do. Did you think I forgot the plan? Once the race is in the trees, I let Grandma Ben pass me because nobody bet on Grandma Ben. And then when she wins, you get to keep everything that was bet on me. Satisfied, cuz? Satisfaction with you is always so temporary. Hit the road. And don't forget, you have to lose! I should have known that Tom would stand me up. I'm such an idiot. What's the matter? I don't understand why Thornwell isn't here. He wouldn't miss the cow race. I'm starting to get worried. Where is he? Two minute warning, folks! Last chance to bet on the big cow race! Well, there you are. I was afraid I'd missed you. I made it back just for you, Lucius, old buddy. What do you say? You gonna bet? Yep, I'm here to bet. Yeah, yeah. Is it a big bet? Oh, yeah. A real big bet. I'm shooting the worst. I'm betting the entire Barrel Haven Tavern. Yes! And I'm putting it all on Grandma Ben to win. I understand the payoff is a hundred to one. See you in the winner's circle, old buddy. Hi, Phony! Change of plans. You have to win now. Lucius bet the bar on Grandma Ben. We'll be ruined. What? Move over. I'm getting in. Hey! Ready? Set? Go! Can't you go any faster? The cows are blocking the way! Pass her! Pass her! Wow! Did you see that? Ouch! Go, mystery cow! Oh, yeah! Go, mystery cow! That's the way! Can you go around them? I don't think so. 
Hey, cow! Look out! Rattlesnake! Hey, cow! Is that you, Maud? Shake! Oh, no. Maud! Don't worry. I'm sure she's fine. Mystery cow! Mystery cow! Let's go, cow! Let's go, cow! Let's go, cow! She's gaining on Rose. Yeah! Hey! Come on, mystery cow! Go, go, go! Yeah, mystery cow! Oh, mystery cow. Go! I got an idea. I think I can jump on. Why didn't you think of that before? Hey, I'm busy running here. What are you waiting for? Jump down in front of him! I'm taking a breather. What? Running is hard work. Mystery cow! Chickens already. Woo! <laughs> Go, mystery cow! Watch out, Rosie! She's on your tail! There she is! It's Grandma Ben! Go right! I can't get around her! This isn't working. I think she can hear you saying which way to go! Smiley, I've got an idea. Remember when we were kids, we used to play Opposite Day? Sure! I love that game! Let's play now! Great! Go right! Pass him! Why, you? I'll fix you! Don't let her grab you! You won't get away that easy! I didn't know you were in the race. Run! Can't you go any faster? No! They're gonna catch us! Fend them off with something then! Throw stuff! Like what? Anything! <laughs> Jeez, those eggs are hard. Mr. <laughs> ah, take that, you 
flea bag. Feel them breathe. That's not what I. Oh, never mind. Can't you go any faster? No! Can't you go any faster? No! Can't you go any faster? No! All right, all right. Everybody just simmer down. I've got the feathers. Let's get that little runt. Get out of the way, Lucius. We're not going to hold off this mob forever. We need to get your cousin out of here before someone gets hurt. I'll help Lucius here. Smiley, find a way to get Phony down. Thorn, you make sure he doesn't fall into the pot. Phone Bone, we're going to need a getaway card and quick. Go find us one and bring it back. I'm on it. Thief! Jerk! I've got the feathers! Let us at him, Lucius! Make him pay! Tar Hey, Bossy, how would you feel? Perfect. Now all I gotta do is get this cart back and... Remember me? Oops. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't pummel you flat. Um... Okay, I'll just be taking this cart now. That's what you think! I'm kidding. How about I give you your honey back, and you don't hurt me? You're giving it back? You didn't need it? No, well, I, um, 
felt really bad about taking it, so I uh, saved it for you. Oh, yeah? Well, okay. But you better stay out of my hive. Next time you won't get off so easy. Don't worry. I'm done with honey for a while. This might come in handy. Hey, bossy. How would you feel about a quick run through the woods with six passengers? That smart guy. It's not tar, it's soup. Tarin and featherin's too good for him. Let's get him. Now that's yeah. a mallet. More rope. You'll wish you are never born, runt. You'll get what's coming to you now. Out of the way, Lucius. That's bludgeon. It's Fast. locked to the counter. You got burned too, huh? Yep. Let me at the little guy. You shaking? You should be. Can I borrow yeah. that? Sure. I guess some keys are bigger Chisler. and heavier than others. You're gonna pay! You can't stop this. You stand in between this us and justice. In hand. Anybody got a pitchfork sharpener? Low life. Let's rough them up some before the tie. I'm so mad I could... Well, I'm real mad. I think you this will do You stole our eggs. All right, all right. Your bets are all gonna be paid back. It's gonna be like this never happened. Well, we're gonna go now. You all better settle down and get some rest. I'll be back in a few days. This is an outrage! How come they didn't try and cook Smiley? He was the one in the cow suit. And a striking figure of a cow I made at that. You're both in trouble. And to work off the debt Grandma and I covered for you, you and Smiley are gonna split your time between farm chores here and working for me at the tavern. For how long? Until we say so. Never! You can't make me! The way I see it, you boys are lucky to be alive. Grandma, what happened to all those rat creatures after the race? They ran off into the woods. I think they'll be laying low for a while. At least I have you back, Phonebone. I'm never letting you out of my sight again. Okay, kids. We're all beat from traveling all night. Let's try to get some shut-eye. So Bone Bone really does know about the dragon. Thorn does too. Told her the rascal. It's possible this is just between the rat creatures and the bones. The rat creatures attacked the farmhouse because they were looking for the bones. I knew it. I knew that sneaky little runt Pony Bone was a troublemaker. Yeah, he is. But I don't think he's got any more idea about what's going on than we do. So what do we do? Let's wait and watch for a few days. Work on rebuilding the farmhouse, keep ourselves busy. I'm hoping the rat creatures show up again. If they are after the bones, then I sure as heck want to know why. They got away! I knew those two bumbling rat creatures would let the Bone Cousins escape. By now, the Great Red Dragon must be aware of our plan. It is more important than ever that we get those Bone Cousins. 